Welcome to this PlantScatter 2023 OPC UA Server Tag Reconfiguration video. The first thing we are going to want to do is to open up a configurator for PlantScatter. We go ahead, click on that, and then we click on Computer Setup. We want to confirm that our Runtime Manager is set to run as a service, and then go over to our OPC UA Server Config. We are going to be using a standard anonymous access, so we are going to remove and enable encrypted communication and copy the endpoint URL. Once it is configured, we can open up our OPC UA client we'll be using to read this data. We click to add a session, uh, input endpoint URL. We validate our connection and wait for it to give us a green light. We click OK, and we can now go and add our session and see what is there. So it has accessed the data that is available through our plant scatter and we can see our cluster down to all of our components in a hierarchical format. We are using a simulated setup here. So all the values that we're seeing here are from the standard example SA project that comes with PlantScatter 2023. I'm looking for a PV value. And so I'm double clicking the field attribute and I can see that that value is live and changing. I am now going to delete this because you're now going to add an encrypted version of communication. We go back to our configurator and we enable our encrypted comms and we configure it. Once it is configured, if need be, you can copy your endpoint URL again. Otherwise, it should still be in your clipboard. We go and we add another session and we input our endpoint URL. When we configured it, it would have told us that our security mode is signed and encrypted and it gives us a correct security policy to use. We are now going to use the username, which in this case is the standard Windows admin login for this configurator. And so I put in the password and we validate our connection. It has given us the green light again, so we click OK. And once again, we can go to our configuration browse and we can see our tags are there. Now that we have seen that both um, unencrypted and encrypted communication works, we can start looking at troubleshooting. We have five items being a rejected certificate, a PlantScale INI file, Windows firewalls, server configs, and the connectivity service. First of all, we look at the rejected certificate. This happens when you do enable encrypted communication. So if it is your first time, you will have to do this in order to get it to work. So we go and we go to the computer, so C drive, program data, we open up Aviva and our PCS. In there, we will see it's literally called a rejected certificate. We go and we double click it and we want to install the certificate. We say you are allocating it to the local machine and we want to place it in a certified store and that is going to be under trusted people. We click OK and we click Next and Finish. Now the import was successful, so that is our certificate sorted if that was your problem. Next up is the TCP IP parameter in the INI file. And we will now go check if this is a zero or one value. Even if it is an all-in-one node, it needs to be set to one so that the circular data can be seen. So we go and we open up our setup editor and we pull up the LAN parameter category and we check our TCP IP. And if need be set to one, this will be your most common reason for your communication not working. Next up is our firewall. Uh, firewalls, uh, obviously, with incoming and outgoing data can cause a problem. So we are now going to go open up our advanced firewall settings from Windows. Once that's open, we are going to go and check our advanced settings at the bottom there and see if our firewall is off. In my case, I know my firewall is off, so that's not a problem. If your company requires you to have firewalls on, please make sure to go and add the correct ports to the inbound and outbound rules so that your data traffic is not affected. This is included in a machine that is even an all-in-one node where your OPC UA client is on the same machine. Second to last is the server JSON settings. JSON is a file type. Uh, the server config settings are created when we compile a project. In this, we will see our machine's name and other details. So the easiest way is to open Explorer from your project in PlantScatter Studio, and we open the file with Notepad. There we can see the name of the server name, host name, IP address, and our port. So if you need to add your port, there it is, 2082. Next up, and lastly, is the connectivity service. 
This is automatically set up when you do install Plant Scaler on your Windows machine. And it will restart when your PC restarts if you have set it up correctly. So we are going to either go through Task Manager or Control Panel. We're going to open up our services and we can see our view of Plant Scaler connectivity services there. It is running and set automatic, which is how we would like it. So every time you restart a machine, it works. And that is how you set up OPC UA.